Let's take a look at a number that's not really talked about enough in golf, and we're going to use our cool new OptiMotion system without any wires or sensors to show you how this works. So first, the shoulder bend. You can see that Haley's set up here with her shoulders angled downward. That's the bend in her torso. For reference, to see a zero degree bend forward, you just stand straight up and down. Now, I think a lot of people get confused that that's actually what the top of your swing should look like. Check this one out. So when we watch Haley's entire swing, you can see that 36 degree forward bend that she had at a dress goes all the way to zero at the top of the swing. And you can see it here, how her back is really stretched out and it's very straight. And on the way down, she bends forward, which is really important to hit the ball far. And at this point coming through, she bends herself backwards again. And you'll see all the way up to about 30 degrees back all the way into the finish. All of this is really important to do to play better, but I think for today to go really fast, the backswing is where a lot of people go wrong. So Gia here is going to demonstrate wrong, which would be keep that forward bend all the way to address, and you can see her from address to the top, and you see how she kind of nudges that pool noodle. The best way to do it is just bend yourself backward in the backswing like Haley does, smash those down the fairway. So that's a little precursor to how to do the shoulder bend in the backswing for help with this part of your game or anything else or just to see your swing on OptiMotion, which is really cool. Find a local golf tech coach near you.